canoeist Lisa D. Hart here, Three Minutes with a Main Guide, and we're continuing knots. Last week we did the highwayman's hitch and the bowlin, and this week we're going to do the clove hitch over a pole and the taut line hitch. And all of these can be found in a really great app called 3D Knots. Okay, the clove hitch over a pole is mainly used in setting up tarps. It's how you get the height on a tarp so that you can stand under it, prep food under it, so that you can have a fire under it. We're canoeists. We have access to the paragon of wilderness travel. We never have to choose between, I'm in the pouring rain, I'm gonna be able to stand in front of and warm myself or cook over a fire or stand underneath the tarp and not get wet as long as you learn this knot. So we're gonna take our line to, our tar to the ridge line of our tarp. We're gonna make a loop. Okay, we're gonna make another loop going the same direction. It looks like a little pair of glasses. We're gonna put one on top of the other. We're gonna take our pole and we're gonna slide it down the pole. We're gonna cinch it up as close so that the pole so that the tarp is as close to the pole as you can get it and then look at the height look at the height you can get on a tarp you know i can't even touch where that is it's about you know probably probably eight nine ten feet in the air now i know not everybody poles but it's the craziest thing uh, you walk into the woods and these things are laying all over the ground almost like they grew on trees so find one that's between 10 and 12 feet long, send it about eight feet up the pole, and you're gonna be able to cook under that and not have it be this sad little hovel. If a tarp's low or you're sitting on a wet ground in the rain under it, it's a hovel, it's sad, okay? So clove hitch over a pole, it's also the key to sailing canoes. The next knot is a taut line hitch. This again is used to adjust tarp lines. So we're going to make a loop and we're going to go inside the loop, inside the loop, and outside the loop. The key to this is that it slides. It slides, it adjusts. If you've got a front that's clocking around and you've got to position that tarp in a different way on the fly because it's raining, you need something that's going to slide and free fast. You need something that's going to adjust fast, okay? Uh, I've seen a lot of people doing trucker's hitches on these. Trucker's hitch doesn't move. And the other thing about a trucker's hitch is if you've got a significant storm where not only it's pouring rain, but you've got serious winds, if you've got a trucker's hitch on your tarp where it's not going to move in the night when you're sleeping or when that wind gust comes up, you're just going to rip the shit out of your tarp. These give, these move, these slide, and they're meant to do that. It's to save the tarp. Quit fixing this. It ain't broke. Until next week, when we do our last two knots, I'm Lisa Dehart. You just spent three minutes with the main guide.